So just from diagnostic standpoint, the belt looks like in really good shape, but it's a stretch belt, so I'm not supposed to use it. But one anyways. And you can really tell that this is wobbly right here, so this totally is the uh, bad. If you heard the sound, and this right here, 100%, the water pump's bad right there. And you can still, you can smell the uh, fluid in there. So I was following uh, Fetcher Wrench's uh, guide, and the one I'm deviating from here is I went from the top in order to open up uh, that bottom screw. That's a pain. And uh, the way to get to it, have these things they're called open-ended wrenches. And what it is is uh, it's just your standard 15 socket. In this case, it's a three-quarter. What I did is I placed it. It's going to be over that one, but I placed it over here. And you can get it on, but you couldn't get, you know, something behind it. But this one, you just need to go from the top from about three-quarters, break it. When you back it off, you can't go too far back, but you already broke it, broke the torque. So you take it off, and then you take a regular one, uh, and then I have it on there, and I'll loosen it up from there. When I put it back on, I'm going to use this, and then the uh, open-ended wrench to do uh, that's attached on three quarters to do my torque spec. And when you do the torque on there, you just you don't do it straight from there because you got extra leverage. You do it at right angles. You can realign on how to do that so that way you torque it to the right spec when you close it up. So this part is taking out and putting the pump back in when you have the fixture right here so this is the only way I figured out how to do it. it took me a long too long to do it and you put this on the right like this uh, and then you come down and you're gonna be your aim downwards and you see it's got to be aimed down it, that's the only place it clears right you can see it right there so it goes down it clears there's that bolt right there and once that clears, you're now in here, and you can go in. I left the, sorry, sorry for bad camera work. But I went down in like that, and then in like this. So since we left it on, the first thing we need to do before we put the pump on is get the belt back in place. There's a new belt right here. It goes around there, and around the other side, and that way... All right, from this side and that side. And that way, the one remaining uh, bolt we have is gonna be around it. So, we get it and get it on there, which I can't really do with one hand. We have to get it on there, and then you wanna install your uh, pump and then your pulley for it. So here's that trick. Somebody had it in one of the comments, and what they're doing, they're using zip ties. So remove one of the screws, hooked up. This is both the bottom and are on the track, and I'm going to try to crank this using a open-ended wrench, and push it this thing on it, and keep it going. So there it is. I ended up doing that, cranking it down. Hook it. You saw it, and then I cranked this down with that around it. I kept it on here. Uh, one of those little tie wraps broke. Uh, two of the zip ties ended up working, and it took uh, three times. Uh, broke on first one broke, second one broke, and then third one it worked. And then it was actually a little bit kinked on that side, so I had to go roll back. So just make sure it's okay.